The fight for equality continued in the 1970s as women all across the country banded together, creating organizations like the National Organization for Women to fight for the respect and rights they thought they earned with the passage of the 19th Amendment. Women would no longer be forced to be domesticated. Gone were the days of asking for a more prominent role in the male-dominated society. The women were gonna take it. Women began fighting their way into territory previously unheard of, including in the Marine Corps. This is the Marine Corps through the decades. The 1970s were a time of first for women in all facets of society. Kathleen Graham became the first female Fortune 500 CEO when she took the helm of the Washington Post. Barbara McClintock became the first woman to win a solo Nobel Peace Prize in physiology and medicine for the discovery of mobile genetic elements. Actress Shirley Temple became both the first female chief of national and international diplomatic protocol. While women were making strides in the civilian world, female marines were shattering the glass ceiling and taking on military roles previously unavailable to them. Marines like Margaret Brewer, who became the first female to be promoted to Brigadier General. Lance Corporal Harriet Voisin, who became the first female military policeman. Gunnery Sergeant Mary Vaughn became the first African American to become a warrant officer. Marines like Lieutenant Catherine Kukurik Genovese proved that women belonged in the Corps when she became the first female to earn a sharpshooter badge. Though wearing the badge was unauthorized in female uniforms, Kokura Genovese took so much pride in her accomplishment that she hid the badge under her tie. These groundbreakers would set the tone as bucking the status quo would become the attitude that would be passed down to female Marines for generations to come.